It appears former President Donald Trump will be a no show for the first Republican presidential debate next week in Milwaukee. NBC News is reporting Trump will instead opt for an online interview. Julia Fellow spoke with one political science professor who says the biggest loser in all of this are Republican voters. A new poll shows nearly two thirds of Republicans want former President Donald Trump to run again. That's up from 55% in April. Yet, the former president does not plan to debate next week. Instead, talk one on one with Tucker Carlson. It is one of the most important ways voters can make an informed decision, but the commanding leader in the GOP race will not be there. I think voters are the real losers in this situation. While this does open a debate spot for Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, UW Lacrosse political science professor Anthony Tregoski does see why Trump might not want to join this debate stage. If someone is the front runner, uh, they they may not want to share the stage with people who are polling at one or two percent. And the former president is facing four criminal cases, including accusations he tried to block the transfer of power after the 2020 election. Chargoski has no doubt this will be brought up by the candidates. We know that Chris Christie has for a long time been anxious to confront Donald Trump on the debate stage. All of this overshadowing Wednesday night's debate that is expected to take place over the course of two hours at Pfizer Forum in a pivotal state. Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News. Now, the former president can change his plans up to 48 hours before the debate. Now, even though he has qualified, he still needs to sign the party's loyalty pledge to participate in next week's debate. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez says he has qualified for the debate next week. We have no confirmation of that yet from the RNC. Suarez has been a fierce critic of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, another candidate in the running. He's largely avoided any direct criticism of former President Trump. Eight Republican presidential candidates have qualified for next Wednesday's debate, having met the fundraising and polling thresholds required to participate. Now, as we mentioned, the RNC is also requiring candidates to sign that loyalty pledge to take part. Before the candidates take the stage Wednesday night inside Pfizer Forum, you can join TMJ4 for our convention countdown special. Shannon Sims and Charles Benson will have the very latest leading up to the debate. Plus an extensive look ahead to 2024, that's 6 to 7 p.m. Wednesday night right here on TMJ4.